Tornadoes lasting just minutes on the ground creates for cleanup spanning days or even weeks. After a confirmed tornado this weekend, meteorologist Bridget Mahoney was in Madison County today to witness the cleanup underway. The start of the work week. Bringing a different type of work after the weekend tornado in Madison County. It was super windy and then it just went calm after that and started to rain. So we walked outside when it did that and that's when I started seeing all the shingles all over my yard. Drone Fox showing similar damage to Tri4 dealership in Highland. Because I didn't look up at the roof, I only looked at the door that was blown in on the side and then I realized I could see the sky through the door. The National Weather Service confirming the 5.3 mile track of an EF1 twister at 708 Saturday evening. First touching down right here in the small subdivision of St. Jacob. This front porch camera catching the storm's arrival right behind me. The very beginning of the path, it really is what we would term minor damage in the grand scheme of things. Obviously, it's not minor to the people who experienced it. The homeowner watching the destruction from her ring camera in Carlisle. Back here, her neighbors taking shelter. We were in the basement. I had both of my kids down in the basement with me. After initial touchdown in St. Jacob, the rotation strengthening along the way, making its way to Highland, Illinois. EF1 strength winds up to 90 miles per hour created for damage that looks like this. Metler development. We did see quite a bit of damage in the neighborhoods in Highland. Like this at Olive in 19th, crews working to lift the large tree from a home, but the community rallying quickly for the cleanup. People can help you in a time of need, so I do believe that the small town atmosphere really helps, and right. you have people's names and numbers, and we reciprocate with each other. Reporting meteorologist Bridget Mahoney, News 11.